Aloha, and thank you for joining me today on Restaurants of Hawaii on the ThinkTech platform. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Today, we're going to be sharing with you a can't miss event. Yes, the best of Hawaii's best kitchen, showcasing Hawaii's top chefs and restaurants. And this is the second year Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation is fortunate to be the beneficiary of this wonderful event. This year, we've added some special sponsorship, um, oh, sponsorship only pre-event reception, special things that we'll um, be providing all of our sponsors. And I'd like to please introduce the creator of this event, Daryl Chalk. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Cheryl. How's everything? Great. Can you please introduce yourself and share with our audience all the wonderful things you do for the food service industry? Sure. Um... I have a company called uh, Viper Group Media. We're a marketing company. And from there, I created, um, back in 2014, I believe, uh, Always Best Bars. And then about six months later, we created um, Always Best Kitchens. And then also, we have one more called Always Best Photos. So, you know, we're a, a digital marketing platform for uh, restaurants and bars and, uh, you know, a bunch of different things. And from that, we got into... Um, private dinners, corporate dinners, and of course, events, which is the one coming up in September. Yes, very, very nice. Thank you, Daryl, for introducing yourself. And Keith, could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Aloha, Cheryl. I'm Keith Malini. I'm Director of Operations of N Kitchen Door Napa, Waikai, the Plaza Grill Restaurant and Boardwalk Cafe out in Ever Beach. We're actually celebrating our four-month anniversary today on the 25th. So happy to be able to join you today. Thank you. And it's a wonderful um, location out there. I've had the, um, I've been grateful that I was able to go out there, Keith, and it's just absolutely amazing out there. I never knew that existed. It is a beautiful space. And that's what everybody says. Nobody knows we're out there. And when they find us, they're really awe-inspired, which is great. Exactly. <laughs> Gorgeous. So Daryl, Share with us, how did Hawaii's Best Kitchens start? Well, you know, I created Hawaii's Best Kitchens to help um, my friends who had restaurants and bars. And then, you know, from there, we decided to, you know, why don't we help all the mom and pops? And from there, we went on to the bigger restaurants, uh, some of the chain restaurants. And, you know, just creating a, a platform for them to feature their either new dish, specials, uh, new chef, or even grand openings. I love it. Thank you so much for all that you do for the Hawaii restaurant industry. So with that, you then started doing this event. Now, how long have you been doing Best of Hawaii's Best Kitchens? So we started in, um, I believe it was 2017. So this would be my fifth uh, year doing it. Uh, we couldn't do it for the last two years. Uh, I'm sorry, 19. 2021 due to, due to the pandemic. We came back last year, uh, 2022, and um, I decided to, I wanted to benefit uh, a nonprofit. So we were able to uh, uh, meet with Cheryl and her team and Nathan from uh, chairman of the uh, EF uh, Educational Foundation and decided to uh, do this event. And then this year I wanted to uh, continue the, the uh, relationship with HRA EF. And we're so grateful. We're so grateful, Daryl, because I'm going to have Keith explain to our um, listeners exactly what the funds, you know, the, the sponsorship dollars, where it went. So, Keith, do you want to cover a little bit about who the HRA Educational Foundation is and how the funds were used? Certainly. So I'm I'm on the board of directors of the Educational Foundation, and I've been on the board for two years, and it's been pretty amazing to watch the work that, that's been done by this foundation. We um, sponsor the ProStart Culinary Program in 12 high schools around the islands, so here on Oahu, on the Big Island, and in Maui, and we fund um, or 
we raise funds for scholarships for students to be able to continue their culinary education. We do um, workshops with teachers. We pr provide them with resources along with the ProStart curriculum, the workbooks and, and textbooks. Uh, we also have we also issue grants for the school programs. So the um, the school programs are in need of ovens and sinks and countertops to to be able to recreate like a kitchen restaurant kitchen environment in their high schools. So it's been pretty amazing to to watch um, how these dollars are spent. And I think last year we were able to provide three scholarships from the funds we raised from joining with Daryl on Hawaii's Best Kitchens. Thanks to Daryl. Thank you so much, Daryl. Those three students were able to get scholarships. And as Keith mentioned, the, the school grants is so important, as Keith mentioned, because he was very close to um, Kohala, right, Keith? And then right. now we're here in Eva. Now here, I'm, so I previously lived on the Big Island, and I worked closely with the Kohala High School, Tracy Figueroa, the, the culinary teacher there. And they had an amazing program, and we were able to start an internship for their students at the Mauna Kea Resort. So I think five of their students came, and one of them was one, one of the big scholarship winners last year. Um, but the, I was just amazed to see the ingenuity of the teachers working with really minimum funds from, from regular sources. So we were happy to be able to provide extra help, especially with the, on the equipment side. Just seeing what, the, what she had to work with. It was, a, it was an old home ec facility that was built in the 70s, I believe. So it was, looked like you were walking back into a Betty Crocker um, house, but it was, it was, um, but it's, it's great to see where these dollars are going and see them come to fruition. Exactly. And, and Daryl, you have to know some of these classrooms are classrooms, so they don't even have an ice maker, so they can't even chill things, right? Keith, they don't even have a blender, so they can't even <laughs> teach the students how to make anything because you need right. to blend. Just the basics and not only equipment, but food as well. So I know they were struggling to be able to fund buying fresh fish for their sushi program. So they were they they were very creative in, in doing kamaboko um, nigiri and things like that. <laughs> but we were able to, like, with these funds, help them actually buy products so that the students could work with and experiment with as well. Yes, and, and I want you to know, Daryl, through your support, in 2023, May of 2023, um, out of our 12 Pro Start schools, one thousand over 1,000, right, Keith? Over 1,000 mm -hmm. students graduated in May of 2023 with culinary experience because they were coming out of our 12 Pro Start schools. And those 1,000-plus students are the are really our future superstars that we I always talk about. You know, luckily, Daryl, you got to meet a couple of them at your last year's Hawaii's Best Best of Hawaii's Best Kitchen. You met some of the students, right, Daryl? Yes. yes. And you know, I think it was important that what we um, were able to do is um, get the students involved with either the chefs there, as well as the you know part of the whole um, uh, event. And then one thing what I think what uh, made them feel uh, more special was the HRA EF um, had given them chef's coats. So they just weren't walking around in like either black uh, long sleeve shirts or white, but they actually were wearing an executive chef's uh, jacket, which I think it made them feel great being part of the event. And for and some of them for the first time they're putting on an actual chef coat and we embroidered them on the chest with the HRA Educational Foundation. Daryl, we're doing the same thing this year for the students that um, will be attending the event. As Daryl said, some of the students were plating, right, Daryl? They were helping some of the restaurants plate. Yes, um, you know, and then they, I, I believe, some of them that's their first time even being in being into Waikiki. Some of the first time being at the Hyatt Regency, well, so the whole event is on the pool deck of the Hyatt Regency. You know, we feature um, 14 Russians, but, you know, I was just glad to see the students there and involved. And, you know, I, I uh, we we invited, I think, one of your scholarship winners to to participate in the event. So I'd like to extend the invitation again this year, Cheryl, for the three scholarship winners to be my um, guests at the event. 
Oh, thank you, Daryl. You got to know you're correct. Last year we had um, a gal show up and she was a recipient. And when she received the scholarship, I said, okay, so, you know, sweetie, what, and I was presenting the scholarship to her. She was over at the Kapilani Community College and she said, Auntie, I want to be a pastry chef. Well, when she showed up last year, Daryl, thanks to your invitation, I had it connected with her. And well, she nice. said, yeah, she said, Auntie, I graduated from the KCC in the culinary program as a pastry. And, you know, that was her, her thing, right? She wants to be a pastry chef. Now she is working at a place that makes the best. And I'm going to say the, the, the dishes so that people know it's lemon crunch, tedimisu. That's my favorite over there. And she's so thrilled that she gets to do her dream, Daryl. But, you know, her big, big dream right now, she's getting experience. Her big, big dream is Daryl to someday own a bakery. And I told her, you just let Auntie Cheryl know when you open your bakery. We're so proud of her. Thanks to what you do, Daryl. I just want you to know that's the impact you're doing on these young people's lives. Thank you. I think it's a combined team effort. And as I said myself, is everybody involved. Not the you know, the whole HRA, the HRAEF, the board, the instructors, the students, and then just the community support that you know we were given last year or the past five years. So you know, it's a whole um, team effort on everybody's part. Yes, and and you're right because when I had invited her, you know, she's like, I've never been to the Hyatt, but I can put it in my GPS. But Auntie, what do I wear? Because all she has is chef coats, right? She has chef coats and chef pants because she's a baker. And I said, don't worry, Auntie has clothes for you. You want to borrow something? She said, no, I think I can borrow from my cousin. And she came, you know, black slacks and a blouse on. And she goes, is this okay? And I said, you, you, you're you perfect. Perfect. She That was the first time, Daryl, you're right, that she ever attended number one anything at the Hyatt and number two, an event that had so many people at it. So Daryl, how many people, let our, our viewers know, how many people are we anticipating to be at the best of Hawaii's best kitchens? So we're anticipating a little over 600. Uh, we released our tickets last weekend. So we have general mission and elite uh, reserve tables. The elite table sold out in two days. Um, and we're just, you know, thrilled with the response that we got in and, you know, people look forward to this event and now too, because it's, uh, it, it benefits the Hawaii, Hawaii HRA EF. It's a, it's a more plus plus for everything. Perfect, Daryl. Perfect. And we want to really let our viewers know we still have sponsorships available. So how Daryl is helping us is, you know, the Educational Foundation provides sponsorships and we still have some sponsorship packages available. And I want to give a shout out to the companies that have already stepped up and said, yes, we want to support the culinary um, industry out here and our Hawaii high schools. And I'm going to read it because I don't want to miss anybody. It's WCIT, Aloha Pratt. Petroleum, Young Brothers, Hawaii Gas, Allstate, Foodland, and Odom Coca-Cola. So they've stepped up, but just want to say to everyone, we still have some sponsorship packages available. Keith, do you want to cover a little bit about what the sponsorship packages include? Oh, certainly. So there are three sponsorships, uh, gold, silver, and platinum, and they involve like um, tickets for complimentary seating, uh, reserve seating, and then we are starting a little reception this year sponsored by Tito's for the sponsorship. So it's like a pre-event gathering, um, talk story, um, enjoying some Tito's cocktails, meeting some of the students as well, and then heading into the into the event afterwards. But each of the um, sponsorship packages this year includes hotel rooms, which I think is amazing. Um, so the, the platinum level includes two, two hotel rooms for one night stays at the Hyatt, and the silver and gold are both one night stays. So this is a great opportunity to come. There's a lot going on in Waikiki that weekend, so enjoy the, the HRE, AEF fundraiser, um, Daryl's uh, Best of Hawaii Kitchens, and everything else in, in Waikiki. Yes, and we want to give a special shout out to Tito's for being the presenting sponsor for us. And you're right, we're going to have a pre-event um, that's going to be really fun just for the people who are um, buying sponsorship packages. So let's um, ask the big question, Daryl. Do we still have, we have sponsorships still available? Do you still have tickets available? Yeah, we have general admission tickets available. 
Um, we anticipate, well, you know, first we, we sell out usually about three weeks prior to the event. So we released it a little bit earlier this year due to the number of events going on that same night. But, you know, with the response that we've been getting, and it's just been tremendous. You know, I can't, we're blessed um, for the response. And, the, you know, people just want to be involved. They want to come out. They want to enjoy the different restaurants that we're, we'll be featuring. And I want you to mention some of the restaurants. And if you miss any of them, I have my list up, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> so, you know, we do have our, 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 our restaurants. We have started with us from, you know, the day one. First year we did, like, um, you know, in Arantino's Kahala, we have Miley's Thai Bistro, um, um, Namikaze, Oyster Hawaii. We have the Hyatt, we have Zigu, Pop Culture, 604 Hospitality. And this year we do, you know, we like to feature new restaurants. So we have uh, Agado Tino, which is a Italian restaurant. It's opening next month. Uh, Pesco Waikiki Beach, uh, Peso. It's a brand new Philippine restaurant that just opened last month. And Robata Ginia. So we have a total of 14 restaurants involved. 14, and you've covered all the cultures. <laughs> You've covered all the cultures, yeah. Daryl. You haven't missed any culture. You have the Italian, you have, right? You've got yeah. everything there. That's so exciting. So, um, Keith, um, is there anything else that you want to say about the Educational Foundation and how this um, opportunity that Daryl is providing us to raise sponsorship dollars is helping the students? Right. And I think, um, as Daryl mentioned, it's it's great for the students to come out and interact with the public. I know we see a lot of like culinary school students at different events helping out, but these are high school students and they've never really gone out in the real world uh, business wise or culinary wise, much less step foot in a, in a professional kitchen or have participated in an event of this scale. So it's really great to see them exposed. They got all very excited about it. And I, I just remember last year, all the, the students were in their black jackets. They looked so sharp and very nervous and excited. And at the end of the night, they just felt that was just the most amazing thing. So I think we inspired them to move on in their culinary careers, which was which was great. And then last year's event was great because, as I said, I was living on the Big Island. I was able to come back, and this was the first live event in a long time. So able to see a lot of people that I hadn't seen in years and reconnect. And um, one of my favorites was the oyster shucker. So you, <laughs> and they're here again this year, right, Daryl? Yes, yes. Yeah, those yeah, are fresh oysters. oysters and yeah. putting hot sauce on it. And it's, mm -hmm. I think that was, for me, that was the, the standout. I love it. And, you know, Daryl, I just want to thank you also, not only for this amazing, amazing gift of us having this opportunity to raise funds to support our teachers, the 12 schools, and all of the students. But at the end of the night, it was like probably an hour into the event. And Daryl's like, okay, let the students have something to eat. And when we went to tell the kids, Daryl, go ahead, kids, go get something to eat. You should have seen their faces. They were like, what we get to eat and i said yes our host daryl chalk is inviting you to go enjoy the food daryl these are little i mean you know they're like what you know how old are they 16 17 mm -hmm. right they're juniors and seniors right? right 16 17 year olds who's never even been at the hyatt let alone eating at these type of restaurants and they see because everybody's right they're plating they're serving they're helping clean up and they're like, no, you can go eat. They were like, their faces were just, I wish I had taken a picture. Their faces were so precious. So thank you so much, Daryl, for letting them have that experience. Not only being at the event, but they actually got to eat food and, you know, enjoy, enjoy what the guests were enjoying. That's great. So, yeah, it was so amazing. I, I should have taken their faces. They were just in shock. Daryl, is there anything else that you want to say? about the event that I've missed? Uh, I think you covered, you and Keith covered um, everything that I could possibly be saying. And, you know, I just, again, thank, uh, thank everybody for the opportunity to uh, put on this event and to get the students involved. Because like you said earlier, you know, without the high school culinary arts, there'd be no future stars in the restaurants. 
And this is where, where, where it all starts. So I'm just glad to be a part of it. And you're so right. Keith will tell you when we see these students and a lot of them, you know, they're in high school. They still don't know, you know, what they want to do. But yet some of them just love it. It's like the gal that came last year, the scholarship recipient. Right. She just loves it. And she knew, right, that she wanted to be in pastry and that she actually graduated and said, Auntie, I graduated. And now she's actually working, you know, making my favorite lemon crunch and tiramisu. And um you know, to see that it's actually happening. So this year we are, Daryl, thanks to Daryl, inviting um, the Pro Start students who are currently in high school. Um, Daryl, they don't start school till next week. So, you know, we sent the email out to the teachers, but the kids aren't in school yet. So we're going to get the names. And then we are reaching out to the past scholarship recipients and inviting them to come out so that you get to, to meet them and hear their stories because it's so inspirational. Is there any else Keith that I missed before we close the show um I think you pretty much covered it I just wanted to thank Daryl for this opportunity to raise the funds and thank you Cheryl for all the work that you do for both the HRA and HRA EF and I'm really looking forward to this year's event going to the Hyatt pool deck brings back lots of memories from events over the past 30 years but um it's always great to, to be back at the Hyatt on the pool deck Thank you. Anything else, Daryl, before we close the show? Um, I just want to say, you know, I want to thank all the restaurants that have, have been uh, behind me since day one. And without them, I wouldn't be able to put on this event. And, you know, we changed up the restaurants, but you know, they're so supportive of my Hoysbiz Kitchens, as well as the, um, the events that I do, the dinners I do. So, you know, I got to give them a big um, thanks. Very nice. And and you're right, you know, to be able to in one night have tastings from all these different restaurants. And Daryl, you've covered the whole globe, right, with all the different types of cultures of food that you'll be having at this event. It's going to be a great event to our, our viewers. It is again um, September 23rd. Daryl, I wrote it all down so I wouldn't say the wrong date. Saturday, September 23rd. Again, as Keith mentioned, there are other things happening in Waikiki. So we want everyone to come on down early and enjoy Waikiki. Um, it's at the Hyatt. And the event is, again, we want to thank Tito's for being our presenting sponsor. The Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation still has a few sponsorship packages available. So if you're interested, reach out to me. And again, the Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. The Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation is really the um, the culinary education programs in local high schools. And right now we have 12 of them. So if you're interested in knowing about any of those two organizations, just reach out to me. And by attending this event that Daryl's putting on the best of Hawaii's best kitchen, please know that you're providing support to the restaurant and hospitality industry through various Hawaii high school educational programs industry engagement and the promotion of our industry to potential hospitality and restaurant superstars. This is our future workers. The funds raised through this event goes towards providing student scholarship and school grants, and they definitely need it. We want to keep these students interested in staying in our industry. The Hawaii um, Restaurant Association Educational Foundation Pro Start Culinary Program was established with the objective of enhancing Hawaii's restaurant and hospitality industry by providing educational programs and encouraging industry engagement and promoting the industry to our future generations. And again, everyone, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Daryl, for all that you're doing and gifting us. We really appreciate it. And thank you, Keith, for jumping on. Until next time, until next time, we'll see everyone soon. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.